Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. The topic is uh, a whooping cough uh, pertussis, you know. In the previous videos I explained about the signs and symptoms, the causes, uh, the diagnosis, you know, uh, risk factors. Uh, but today's video is about uh, the treatment options once someone is diagnosed with a whooping cough, you know. Uh, but before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share this video. Now the antibiotics uh, directed against the bacterium can be effective uh, in reducing the severity of the whooping cough when it is administered early in the course of the disease you know and the antibiotic therapy can uh, also help to reduce the risk of transmission of the bacterium to other household members as well as the others who may come into contact with the infected person you know and uh, unfortunately, the most people with the uh, whooping cough are diagnosed later with the condition in the second, which is known as the second stage, which is known as the proximal stage, you know, of the disease, you know, which is the longest one, you know. And the treatment with the antibiotics is uh, recommended for uh, anyone who has had the disease for less than three to four weeks. And uh, erythromycin, uh, uh, erythromycin and erythromycin uh, and uh, sulfur uh, metastasol, you know, uh, which uh, whose brand name is uh, Bactrim, you know, or uh, Septra. These are the antibiotics that are have been shown to be effective uh, in treating the whooping cough, you know. And uh, but it's unclear whether the antibiotics have any benefit for the people who have been ill with the whooping cough uh, for longer than three. To four weeks as the antibiotic therapy is still uh, often considered for this group you know so there is no proven effective treatment for the proxies of the coughing that accompany the whooping cough you know and the antibiotics are, are routinely administered uh, to the people who have had close contact with the infected person you know regardless of their vaccination status and do not give an infected uh, child uh, uh, cough syrup or uh, the cough medications unless uh, instructed to do so by your doctor you know and uh, they have not been shown to be of benefit you know and uh, they may cause the sedation that leads to the uh, to worse outcome you know and uh, thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and uh, please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. Uh, the next video will be about uh, 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 the prognosis uh, of the whooping cough. Keep watching.